Hey, with Hoffer head coach Emily Mansour following the 3-1 victory over Northeastern. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thoughts on today's performance? Yeah, no, definitely a great win. Northeastern is a good team coming from a lot of uh, victories, so it's nice. It's nice to see different people contributing and helping to make this happen. In the first set, obviously, uh, it started off with the five, five service errors. Um, after after you took a timeout, it improved significantly, and obviously the confidence showed throughout the rest of the uh, match. So, um, what did you say in that team talk? <laughs> Yeah, and I think at that point it was really just like, it's about us. Uh, Northeast is a good team, but they didn't need to play. We gave them, I think it were the five serving arrows and then a couple more attacking arrows. At that point, we had given them 11 points. So you can't win that way. It's just, let's come down and let's play our game. Northeastern's a team that really gets a lot of evidence from their blocks. You know, they, they did get a good amount today, but how are you guys able to win it? Yeah, no, definitely a big team gets good blocks. We hope that our ladies, like our team is working every day in practice to have different tools and different shots. So we limited the amount of blocks. What they see, they go in a different way. And that's the progression and the hope of every day. Clara was really just, again, outstanding offensively. She's become someone who it almost seems like down the stretch of like tight contest, you're going to go to her. Not every, not every time, but... Can you just talk about like the design plays or maybe you know, focusing on uh, trying to use her in those moments where it's really hard for the defense to catch up with the speed of her hits? Yeah, no, Clara has been playing really well today. She had a very tough start and it was really good for us to see that she can come out of it. And she finished with great numbers and she wants the ball. For us, honestly, at the end of games, we don't tell our setters where to go. It's who they feel confident with and she's passing that to the setter, which is a great thing for her and for us. Speaking of the setters, having Ellie Pamatat and Beatrice Alves back now, having two people that can set up the rest of the team, how much flexibility does that give you not having to just rely on Beatrice being in there all the time? It is amazing. It's a very good thing. Ellie has done a phenomenal job, so we are confident with her. It's really cool to have Bia back, and as a coach, that's a dream. Coach, uh, probably Emily Newman's best game of the season. How do you feel about her performance and how she feels? Yeah, I think I have very high standards for Emily because I know what she has done in the past, what she can do, definitely a good game. And we love to see her back getting blocks. I think this is something that we have missed this season, but she's starting to connect again, and that's going to make us a better team. You had, a, you had yeah, 17 uh, seventeen kills from uh, all, and, uh, and also 14 and 13 from uh, others. So... Uh, what, what is uh, a balance office? That's what we want. Okay. Yes. So as you brought it up, the 17, 14, 13, as you said, that's what we want. We want to see these numbers across the board, and we want to see a balance offense. It makes us again a better team if they don't know where the ball is going. And I think we don't talk about his daughter, but his daughter has been a consistent, great player for us. She's the silent killer. No one notices her, but she makes the big points when we need. Six wins in a row. How do you feel about the way the team is playing? And you guys, do you think you guys have even another gear? Yo, oh, I know that we have another gear, and that's what we are working to get. And for us, as a coaching staff, we look love six victories, but we look at it a game at a time. So for us, we are one zero, and then we're gonna work to get that two tomorrow, and then we start again zero zero against the next opponent. So we know we are better than this, and we want to build by the end of the season to become a really really ranked aggressive all around team. Coach, thanks for your time and good luck in tomorrow's match against Southeastern. Thank you.